Can you hear me now, Wendy? That is the second time that's actually happened to me. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't happen again. I thought all my levels were good. But apparently I was a fool. I do apologize. As I was saying uh, earlier, this is kind of like a bonus stream today. Because Indy uh, streamed earlier. I wasn't supposed to stream today, but I was bored out of my damn mind. And I've been itching to get back into this game. Now, uh... I'll repeat myself once more and go ahead and say that uh yeah this is the fifth episode last uh, time we played this we helped Miles Edgeworth get off of two separate murder cases in the same trial but uh we thought that was end game for the first Phoenix Wright game apparently it's not because episode 5 Rise from the Ashes is what we're going to be dealing with and the little that I do know about this is it adds new, um, new investigation techniques. And the case is about somebody who needs help, but went ahead and pretty much admitted to the murder. So, uh, <laughs> we're gonna jump right into it and go from there. Hopefully it's a gun. It's moving. That's new. Well then. And those rain graphics are superb. And there it goes. Um, does that mean two murders took place? in separate buildings at the same time because that kind of kind of is what it looked like oi well then that that was actually a cool little cutscene not gonna lie mm, that that hasn't happened in any of the cases so far so <laughs> anyway it's been two months since Maya left the office Two months without a single trial. I've had offers, but none I took. That is, uh, until the day that girl showed up. Oh, that girl showed up. Oh, no. February 22nd, 10.02 a.m. Right in co-law offices. Uh, it's a plant. Why do I come here to the office every day? Hopefully they find work. I mean, it, it is how you live, right? It's not like I want to work. Oh! God damn it, Phoenix. And my boat is on! Why? It's not supposed to make noise until my brother tries to ruin the stream, god damn it. <laughs> there you are! Finally! Oh. Hello. You're not Maya. Where have you been? My sister's trial is tomorrow. Uh. Um. Who, who, who are you? It doesn't matter who I am, it only matters who you are. The famous defense attorney, Maya Fe. No, no, not Maya. Maya's, uh. <laughs> well endowed, if you know what I mean. Plus, you know, I'm a guy. Uh, uh, not my fay, are you? Nope, not even the same gender. You could definitely tell this wasn't part of the original game. This had to be added onto it. Uh, I wonder when though. Was it when it moved over to the 3DS? Or what but yeah it's definitely new I'm sorry but Miss Maya Faye no longer works here so you are the coffee boy no no I'm Phoenix Wright a defense attorney right right wait you're the Phoenix Wright the Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case FBI, yeah, I mean, 
glad my reputation precedes me. Yeah. Um, yes, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth who was murdered, though. I'm thinking in this HD trilogy. I mean, blinking animations, shading on the character models, etc. Maybe. I don't... I'm not entirely sure, but it's definitely newer. It wasn't... Hi, baby. It definitely wasn't on the uh, Game Boy Advance, I can tell you that much. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. But you are Phoenix Wright, the undefeated defense attorney. Look, I'm not accepting any new cases. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try elsewhere. Please! I'm out of time! But... Please, you have to help. It, it's my sister. Oh. Uh, oh, she hit him with the feels! Baby, someone gave me a subscription. To who? Who did they uh, give you a sub to, baby? Maya, could it be... Uh, okay, I'll hear you out. Really? Thank you so much. My name's Emma. Emma Sky. I'm a scientific investigator. Scientific investigator? Uh, before we get in this... Immortal... Uh, oh, I, I can't even name that. Say that name, so I'm not even gonna try. Immortal, though. That's cool. Um... Mrs. Freeze, uh, she's uh, one of the people, she actually streams, and uh, she's one of the people that hangs out in the, uh, in the, um, oh wow, I feel so bad because I can't remember their name, I know it's Arcade something, but uh, she actually recently gifted me a sub to them too, which was awesome, I mean, Keichi, Tavern, oh, yeah, the Arcade Tavern. That's right. Thank you, baby. <laughs> but yeah, Miss Freeze, thank you if, you know, you do end up seeing this. You're awesome. But, uh, Miss Freeze, uh, she actually, um, she actually streams in the mornings. Check her out because, uh, she does, she does stuff like Resident Evil and, uh, Skyrim and all sorts of other type of games. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 the Phoenix! Emma. Emma, was it? So you're a scientific investigator? Yes, that's right. Is something wrong? No, it's just you seem kind of, uh, jumpy. Or maybe just young? Young? I'll be 16 years old this year. She is young. Oh, I see. Wait, only 16? I'm set to be formally assigned to forensics in three more years. My work is becoming quite well known at my age, no less. By the way, dude, don't go to sleep directly after you're done streaming or anything. I gotta talk about something with you after. Oh, no problem, man. Just let me know. She's jailbait! <laughs> well, let's hope Phoenix is uh, better than Pro Jared, so... I mean, I, I don't think anything's gonna go on between him and a 15-year-old. Um, so what exactly is your current position, then? Well, legally speaking, I guess you'd call me an 11th grader. I mean, then again, every anime girl is jail, but yeah. Yeah, pretty much. No, no matter how they look, they're definitely jailbait. But I'm ready to do my job, at my age, no less. Great, another future professional in training. No, oh, the case. So, what's about this? What's about this? What? What? This about a case? You said the trial's tomorrow. Wow, Jay. Speak, damn it. You've you've known English for 35 years. What the hell? My sister didn't do it. She wouldn't stab someone with a knife. She wouldn't. Though somebody got skewered. So it's a murder case. 
I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it. She didn't do it. I know... I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. Speaking of Oh No Jared, <clears throat> he's almost at 7,000 subs. 700,000 subs. I can't wait for the 500,000 subs video. <laughs> Dude. I can't wait for that 100 sub video. But anyway. I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. And there's a witness. J just talk to her. You have to talk to her. Alright. I suppose I will. I promised her I'd bring Maya Fey, but... That's interesting. The Oompa Loompa thing. Oh, dude, I loved that meme. <laughs> yeah. I, ha I had to post that. Indy, if you didn't see that, I posted it in our chatter on Facebook. Screw you, car! Uh, how, how would she know Maya? But anyway. You, do, you, do you think Jared could get Phoenix here to, uh help him out in court? I mean, because that's pretty much where it's going. So, you want to be a scientific investigator when you grow up, then? Uh, excuse me? I'm not a child, I'll have you know. Still, it's good to have a goal. I'll bet a very unusual one. Not even Phoenix can help Jared at this point. <laughs> that, that's the day Phoenix just doesn't even show up. <coughs> he hands him a card of a, to a public attorney and he's like, Good luck, buddy. I ain't touching that one with a freaking ten foot pole. <laughs> I believe investigations should be done scientifically. Don't you? Um, sure. Uh, yeah. I sure can't fault her for the, the lack of enthusiasm. If this case is handled scientifically, I'm sure my sister's name will be cleared. Your sister? I've been doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method of case investigation. I'll show you when I'm done. I'm looking forward to it. I guess I should get down to the detention center and talk to her sister. I want to see what this is. My sister asked for Mia specifically. This Mia Fey person was a few years below her in school. So they went to the same school, huh? She always told me to go to Mia if I ever needed a defense attorney. Okay, that Oompa Loompa thing had me laughing. <laughs> and well, I need one. Um... Incidentally, Mia is a woman. Now that you mention it, I guess it is more of a woman's name than a man's. Mia, yeah, a little bit. I, it is 2019 now, though, so who fuck knows. Well, it's nice of you to help your sister out like this. You must be close. Uh, guess not? Well, actually, when she gets like she is now, I, I kind of hate her. Oh, uh, no. But, but she's my only family. Your only family? What about your parents? They died in a car accident when I was little. Oh, that's not good. You're like Dr. Evil. I mean, the guy who was Fraser has, as a name is Kelsey. So men can have weirdly girly names sometimes. 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 Kelsey, it's primarily a woman's name. But for Kelsey Grammer, it kind of works and pretty much ruins the whole name for any woman that uses it afterwards. Because Kelsey Grammer's... It's kind of weird looking, and I only think of Sideshow Bob whenever his name is mentioned. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Huh? Time to move to detention. 
February 22nd, detention center. Visitor's room. Oh, no. Hmm, well, I wonder what's wrong with Emma. Maybe she's in the same room with her hateful sister. Apparently. She got quiet all of a sudden, as soon as we arrived. Guard. I thought I told you I didn't want visitors. S -s Sorry, ma'am. It's just, just your sister. No excuses. Or did you not want to want to raise this year? Hmm. Uh, understood, ma'am. What was that all about? Uh, cousin it. Uh, hi, Lana. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing. Look, I didn't want to come here either, okay? You get your trials tomorrow, and you still don't have a defense attorney. I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. She, your sister's a bitch. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Damn, is her sister Azula? Oh, oh very demanding. A little bit. Hey, how do you know me? Mia mentioned you. I've heard quite a bit. Uh, I'm sorry, what exactly is that you do? My name is Lana, Lana Sky. I'm chief prosecutor for this district. Oh shit, she's higher than Edgeworth. It's probably why she has that military gear on for some reason. You're, you're a prosecutor? Two sisters. One a lawyer. Could this be a coincidence? Well, damn. Emma, oh, Lana, I mean, they're just like... Uh, he's, he's thinking back to, uh, Mia and Maya. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Oh, uh, this... I could already feel this case is gonna be something else. Anyway, let's figure it out. There's something you should know from the start. Which is? The suspect in this case has confessed to the crime. Uh... Um, well, wait, but the suspect... The suspect is... Me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright? Well, why don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened? There's no way this case will be as emotionally draining as the last one. Satan won't be involved. We don't know that. <laughs> the crime took place yesterday, February 21st at 5.15 p.m. That's quite specific. It was in the witness's deposition. A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Uh, my... That was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? But Mia might be... Wait, what do you mean Mia might be? You can't... You can't just not finish your statement. That... That makes me worry. <laughs> the crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. The prosecutor's office, huh? In your subordinate's car trunk, Prosser. I think she's thinking Mia is involved. Mia's dead. She's been dead for a while. I was arrested on the spot, caught red-handed, as it were. Well, oh, that's just great. Jesus. Might have met Maya then. Maya went home. Like, Maya's been gone for two months now. This is two months after the last case. <coughs> so, who was the victim? An investigator with the police department. I suppose the correct term is detective. A detective? 
death was due. He was stabbed once in the stomach. She knows Mia, so you never know. Oh, don't no, no. Maya's a good girl, okay? She ain't got nothing to do with this. No oh, man, not Gumshoe. I, I, no. I don't want Gumshoe dead. D no, no. Chad is evil today. Death was due to a loss of blood. He was stabbed at once in the stomach. By you? Death wasn't immediate, but the wound was fatal. I see. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Uh oh. What? Mr. Wright, what does it mean? Well, it means the police department will consider it a matter of pride to have me found guilty. They will use any means at their disposal to do so. And this case just, this case gets worse and worse with everything I learn. Gumshoe never dies, man. He's an integral number of the franchise. LOL. Spoilers, man. Come on. <laughs> but I hope not. I like um shoe. I really do like um shoe. Look, so you're the chief prosecutor. That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handled by prosecutors in this district. I make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do the job and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities in a nutshell. That's an awfully large nutshell. Still, I'm a little surprised. I would think you'd recognize the different district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. Um... In fact, it seems impossible you wouldn't. Um, Lana. Not knowing if characters die is what makes moments more tense. Uh, what happened to your hand? Of oh, this? I cut myself by accident. When I stabbed him, that is. Now, come on. She is so open about she did it, she did it. Who is she covering for? Like, nobody says shit like this unless they're completely and utterly insane. Who is she covering for? She has to be covering for somebody. Huh? I'm not very good at being a criminal. I suppose. How am I supposed to defend this? Time to change the subject. Wait, she was in the class ahead of Mia, wasn't she? <clears throat> um, you were in school with Mia, correct? A few years above her? Emma told you that too, did she? Well, why not? I did drag him all the way here from his office. No, though it seems he has very little in common with Mia. Hey! <laughs> it was in law school. I was in my third year, and she was auditing the class. She was different than the other students. D different? She was strong. She'd do anything to become a defense attorney. Anything. That was probably why she was attracted to me. Oh, God. Well, hello. Uh, uh, excuse me? Intellectually attracted. Lana was top of her class in school. You dirty pig. <laughs> I was the best there was. Oh. I'm doing pretty good in school too, by the way. It sounds a bit different there when Emma says it. Well, Mr. Wright. Uh, excuse me? As you can plainly see, I am admitting my guilt. I think it's safe to say there's no way you could take this case. None. But, but Lana. What? Why are you doing this to me? You never think of anyone but yourself. Oh my. <laughs> 
I feel like she was blackmailed or something. It has to be something, man, because nobody's just open about just, you know, like, shanking a dude. <laughs> I know you didn't do it, Lana. I know. So, so how can you say you did? If I lose you, I'll be all alone. I, I hate you, Lana. I hate you. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Mr. Right. It is. I believe our discussion here has ended. The rest, I leave to you. Okay. She went from... Hey, dude, I, uh, shanked a dude. I did it. I even cut myself, you know, putting a, putting a one in him. <clears throat> you can't take this case to... Hey, I leave it to you now, buddy. She She's definitely being blackmailed or covering up for somebody. Um, <clears throat> you mean you're requesting my services as your defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed after all. The case is over. Right. I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this. Wow. Lana has confessed to her crime, yes. But something doesn't fit. Instead, look in Emma's eyes. There's something else going on here. And I'm going to find out what. Phoenix on the case! I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Uh, about what? My, my sister. She's not always like that, you know. I just never expected to be defending another prosecutor again. She's changed a lot. She used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everybody liked her. I see. Sorry, but I'm having trouble imagining that. I would too at this point. What happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe, well, maybe not. It sounds like there's something there that defies a simple scientific explanation. Let's go check out the underground parking at the prosecutor's office, shall we? Oh, okay. I guess we're moving to uh, the crime scene. And we're gonna go check out new stuff. February 22nd, prosecutor's office, underground parking lot. Woohoo! This is the lot where it all happened. It looks like they're still investigating. Funny that my first visit to the prosecutor's office should be like this. Hey, everyone! Keep up the good work! Hey, what are you thinking? They are going to be my co-workers three years from now, after all. No harm in saying hello. Actually, there is. You know, attorneys aren't supposed to examine crime scenes. I'm trying not to stand out as much here, see? She's so much like Maya. She really is. Hey there. You expecting to be to go unnoticed here, partner? Oh no. P partner? Who the fuck is that? What do we have here? Looks like a bambina got loose from the ranch and is up to no good. Folks gotta learn to keep them doggies tied down, partner. Marshall? Ah, uh, Marshall looks more like a sheriff to me. <laughs> it's high noon. <laughs> Look at here, Bambina. I know how you feel. But, uh, this is my gang's gold strike, see? Gold strike? Uh, this is our claim, our territory, with a mother load of evidence. If y'all fix it to mess with what's ours, y'all regret it, partner. <laughs> you know what dreams the cacti out in the desert dream. 
you want to. Shut up, motorcycle! What's this guy talking about? You loud as hell! Rude as driver. You head along home now. Happy trails, Bambina. Um. Was that a hombre, a friend of yours? Uh, kind of, sort of. Yeah, he's a detective. Who thinks he's a sheriff from the Wild West, it seems? Is that Gumshoe's boss? <laughs> right? There's no way that's a cop. Then again, it's anime, so... Uh, okay, then. I'm, I'm pretty much at the same point, dude. Pretty much. There's definitely a wallet, but we need one of these. Uh-huh. A, a ladder. Um, that's a step ladder. What's the difference? A scientific terms, please. S scientific, huh? Look at the basic nature of things, Mr. Wright. This all seems so horribly familiar somehow. Okay, the thing about the ladders is there's actually a trophy you could get on the PlayStation Network. If you go through the whole three like all three games and get every single ladder thing that's why i like, gravitated towards it i think maya did the same thing exactly <laughs> now we'll pick up the wallet what's this a wallet um excuse me officer well, well wait what are you doing, Mr. Wright? What am I doing? I just found this wallet, so I'm handing it over to the police. I don't believe it. This is real basic. Anything at a crime scene is evidence. Let's be specific about this, please. Just put it in your pocket. How, how is it scientific? This sounds like theft to me. Wallet hastily stuffed into pocket. I'm called to duty already, and at my tender age. Here, I'll teach you the trick to examining evidence in detail, okay? That's like my all over again. <laughs> it is my all over again. But you know what? I'm okay with that because I liked Maya. By the way, her eyes are sparkling. I can tell she's been waiting for this. Please don't say tender age again. That sounded weird. No more weirder than how moist sounds nowadays. <coughs> okay, okay. Now look at the court record. Uh oh, it's doing it by itself. You have to be sure to examine evidence carefully on all sides. Now let's start examining from every angle. Oh, I can move it. There's something inside it. I can see it. Ah, yeah. Oh, look. I think there might be a clue here. You should check it out by with a press of the X button. Okay. Woohoo! I found. I know how to open up a wallet now. Moist is a good word, though. Moist sounds dirty as hell nowadays. <laughs> this this is an ID card. Sergeant Bruce Goodman. ID number 5842189. See? Well, it's scientific investigation useful. I guess, though, I don't see what scientific has to do with it. I just opened up a wallet. That's society's fault. It is. I think ointment is weirder. Ointment. Yeah, that's another. Why are we on weird noise to words tonight? W what is this? I mean, I'm okay with it. I'll run with it. But why not? But what? What, what happened here? <laughs> Let's be sure to examine every piece of evidence we find. I guess I've got to be on my toes from now on. Okay, then. Uh, 
at the door. Look, a door. This must mean something. I'm not sure that door means anything. No, it won't open a mysterious lock. So, to see what's mysterious about it. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life more. Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? Okay. Look, a stylish glass walled room. Very nice. You can see the whole parking lot from in there. It says security. Perhaps it's a cafe. Huh? Cafe security. No, it, no, Tim! <laughs> okay, how about satisfying words? Dwayne is a satisfying name to say. I, I guess. I mean, he's the rock. As long as Tim doesn't say daddy in that creepy voice, I'm good. Put it in there. It's just because now he could type it, but yet you'll hear that voice. It, it's ingrained in your psyche. You, you can't help it. Choke me, Teddy. <laughs> Defang, don't join in. <laughs> Chef Cafe Security. Yeah, that must be it. Let's check it out later. Um, I hate to break it to you, but I think that's probably just a security guard office. Join in all you want, Defang. <laughs> you haven't heard my creepy voice. Dude, I've heard creepy voices. It, it doesn't matter. You hear them once, you hear them all. You know, I scored a 97 on my science test the other day. Too bad they don't have a test for common sense. No, I don't need two people with the daddy thing. I am the daddy. But no, no you're not, Defang. You are not. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay. Here's a phone! Let's see if it works. <laughs> Jay is the old dad. No, I am not her daddy, thank you. <clears throat> Get rid of the ants in my house, dad. No, come on! <laughs> I don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything. My ears! No, my ears! Maybe it's due to the barometric pressure? What is she babbling about? Hey, what did you just say? See, you can hear just fine. The phone's broken. Only if you're a good boy, Timmy. Uh, I think chat's broken. Chat's definitely broken. It's not because of chat or Twitch or anything. It's because of the people. <laughs> An oil drum. Uh, looks like... Oh, no! Looks like it's filled with water. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, one second. Bloop! Uh, this is supposed to be here. <laughs> Video capture device. Oh, no. I really need to start checking things out before I do stuff on days I'm not supposed to do them. But yeah, here we go. <laughs> Jokes aside, one of my close friends enjoys the daddy thing. Uh, I, I know, I know. I, I, you know what? I'm done with it. I'm done with the daddy thing. Uh, ew. It, it's heavy. I can't even budge it. The drum over there is on its side. Wait, I know. I'll hide in it here and do a stakeout. I think you'll probably just get arrested. In fact, you may not even have to hide in the drum to get arrested. Wait, I'm not suspicious. You're suspicious enough. Really, the wall? This wall is on our way. It's got a faucet for water. Wait, I know. This wall is merely a facade hiding the truth. This is no wall, but a water tank. I 
detail to see how it makes any difference either way. What game? Bootleg Myers holding the game up so much. D you know what? I'm gonna have to agree with that. I miss Maya. Oh, damn. Why do they- now, why is the tape like that? Like, do they have to do that? Well, no time to waste. Let's get hunting for clues. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Well, partner, it looks like you've got no intention of going home quietly. Ah, <sighs> the sheriff. Like I said before, this here is our claim. You best be moseying along, unless you're fixing to bite the bullet. He gonna shoot us? Ah, uh, scary. Couldn't you just tell us one thing? Who owns that car? <laughs> the Creed. <laughs> well, well, the little fellow's got a good hose on her. You wanna know who rides that red Mustang with the body in her saddle, huh? Please? No problem, partner. About time for Vettles anyway. V Vettles? Vittles? Get yourself to the saloon up on the 12th floor of, of the prosecutor's office. Might just find you a uh, cerveza you like. Prospector's office. Where does this guy think he is? And when, for that matter? Note to self. Look up Vettles Saloon Cerveza. Maybe we should check out room 1202, the high prosecutor's office. Vitals. Lunch break. Oh! The Texan draw is not needed, Jay. Yes, it does! It is needed! Okay? If the motherfucker's gonna try to act like McCreed, I'm gonna give him that damn voice. <laughs> Plus, I live in Texas, damn it. Even though I'm from New Jersey, you gotta fit in, right? <laughs> in any case, Stay away from that car. You can look around here all you like. Just keep your paws off our claim. <laughs> What's a heart and a half? I don't even know who McCree is. <laughs> Play Overwatch, my friend. Play Overwatch. Great. Maybe there are some clues around here, Mr. Wright. Let's check it out. Excuse me. Were you two all set? Us? This is one of those times the draw is needed. I mean, look at him! I did. I hated it. Aw, I'm sorry, Indy. I'm sorry you hate good games. <laughs> Tim, just Google Overwatch, and it's the cowboy with a cybernetic arm. It is. It's McCree, man. Us? It's a whore! I mean... <clears throat> it's a lady. What's the... She couldn't be. Y you're selling lunches here? This is a crime scene. Uh, hello. Half and half, was it? Uh, uh, thanks. And you, sir? Y yes some crunchy goodness coming at you. Uh, thanks. Interesting way of doing business. This area is off limits to anyone without clearance. Especially passers-by. Or are you officers? Ugh, oh, says the man who hates Yoshi Island. That's because it's not a good gang. <laughs> it's a whore, I mean, it's a lady of the night. <laughs> uh, no, but you, you don't exactly look like the type to have clearance. Well, that's hardly a way to greet someone. Even if my days as the cough-up queen are oh. Cough-up queen? 
What weird porn was she in? She looks suited for some of that weird ass um, tentacle stuff. Cuff, uh, uh huh. You know, I'm feeling kind of full. Maybe I'll pass on lunch. <laughs> With hands like that, I wouldn't want food from it. I'm quite connected to this case, you see. Images are burned into my eyes. You might say, yes, of the sordid secrets. <laughs> Look at them hands falling out of her blouse. I mean... But the cowboy guy, she definitely looked like a hooker at all times. She does! Cuff up queen, more like a lady deep throat. <laughs> oh, there goes that family friendly rating. Dear me, you are a slow one, aren't you? Look, bitch. I'm referring to the murder, the stabbing of that detective. What? Oh no. A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. The bento box, bitch? Really? Family friendly rating left the window when you let chat be on screen. It really did. It really did. I'm sorry, people. I failed you. You mean you're the witness my sister was talking about? Please. Cough up, queen. Tell us what happened. The name is Angel Star- She has a stripper name too! It is blatantly obvious they wanted this woman to either be a stripper or a porn star. Look at her! Or a hooker! Or all three! Honestly, Angel Star, Cough Up Queen, The Jess. <laughs> oh my god! The same last name as Jeffrey! <clears throat> She's not a starfish, man. Or before you know it, I'll have you whimpering at my heel. No, woman! You can't throw dominatrix on top of it! This is too much dirt! Y y yes, ma'am. I'm not if she means it. I guess we gotta talk on the cross up here, man. Listen here, you, you basic instinct of a cunt. Give me my tempura. Suck off for dessert. And get the fuck out. I'm done with chat. I'm not reading anymore. Uh, somehow I knew. Yesterday was a day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know that... The daily special on Friday every week is Salmon. Destiny was yesterday special for some reason. You're a defense attorney, right? You should know then. You should know the foul misdeeds of the evil ones who haunt this den of inequity. Oh, he's palm. That's my job. My job here is to shut up, D Fang. <laughs> Prosecutors, they have no qualms at all about blackening the name of innocence. And yesterday, they paid homage to the most evil one of them all. They gave an award for King of Prosecutors. Oh, what a farce. She, so she's saying there was some sort of prosecutor's convention yesterday? I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something foul. Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Or is there some kind of scientific evidence of this, um, evil? Young miss, mock me at your risk. You'll soon find out why they call me... The cough up quick. No! Don't put none of that lunch in your mouth! Don't lace with mayonnaise. Ew! <laughs> the most heinous of all the evil ones. 
This is the one they awarded yesterday. It was in his car that they found the body. Proof that he devours the evilest lunches of all. Uh, really? Really? What? What? I'm, I'm totally confused. You, me too, believe me. Believe me, girl. And Phoenix. <laughs> One thing's clear. This lunch lady has a thing against prosecutors. Ugh. So what exactly was it that you witnessed, Miss Star? It was a fascinating spectacle to be sure. I now feel I know what they say when they talk about a woman's wrath. To see Lana Sky wield that knife so. Exclamation uh, mark! Her knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. It, you mean you saw the very moment of the crime? <laughs> OMFG. It is because you can't swallow a big load, you shrimp hook. Hawking hooker. <laughs> like, what type of lunch lady dresses like that? There's those hams bringing in the customers. <laughs> The sound of his sil silvery ties to this world being truly cut still rings in my ears. And the rhythmic beat of Lana Sky's knife. Wait a second, you know Lana Sky? Huh, of course. It's quite a feat, becoming chief prosecutor. How many lunch boxes of sin did he did she pack to make that journey? I wonder. She always travels light. Now why would this pretty lunch lady know the chief prosecutor's name? She is not pretty! She is a disease-riddled whore! Stop it, Phoenix! <laughs> Mia was pretty! Not this thing! <laughs> and after dark, she puts out dem ham cheese like any other Tuesday. Oh my god. Anyway. Um, could we ask you a bit about yourself, Miss Star? Well, I come here every day to sell lunches. I import, import only the freshest and best from the Far East. For some reason, the box lunches are hit here. Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? No. no. Only true connoisseurs can understand. Ow! The kind you can only tell someone who has tried General Tao's Trello Bite lunch set. Uh, never mind, you win. I don't even want to appreciate part of a Trello Bites flavor. <laughs> Her head is... Uh, 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 what? Anyway, I'm done. Anyway, I come here every day to sell lunches. My boyfriend works in the security booth here at the prosecutor's office. Y your boyfriend? See the security room over there? The glass wall booth? I sell my lunches, and since I'm here anyway, I drop in to see him. Since you're here anyway, I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. And your pendant is supposed to look like a hot fog cut into a cute octopus. Oh, fuck. Looks like a... What? Slut dog collar. It does. It does. So to scientifically analyze the data available so far, you, Miss Star, are a lunch vendor with an ulterior motive for coming here. Miss Small Analyst nods. Oh, I want this lady to go away, but we're gonna have to question her, I'm pretty sure. 
do, do you have a bad experience with a prosecutor, Miss Star? I sense some hostility. Hostility? Uh, perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike, and the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kind of like ten-day-old clams in the chowder. I wonder if Miss Star was involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. That'd be a sure cause of food poisoning, scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, now you're talking cough up, Queen. I thought she was just a lunch vendor, but now I'm not sure. Okay, um... I, I guess we go here? D done with her. We can't slide over anymore, so... Oh, yeah, because she's a hooker. <laughs> Everybody is, like, anonymously. Okay, it's anonymous. This woman has been paid to suck some dung. But, Jesus. And I think the green fur on her coat is supposed to suggest wasabi. Or green tea. Nobody wants this girl's clam chowder. Do not order the clam chowder. We won't, Defang, I promise. My god, she's got- It's the fucking Steel Samurai. February 22nd, High Prosecutor's Office, room 1202. This is kind of- This is the kind of room that just screams, I can do the job. Quite a change from your office, really. Bitch. I miss Maya. Thanks. Look, look, there's a trophy or something here. A trophy? What, the shield? It takes real nerve to display stuff like this. Whoever's office this is, they must be a real stuck-up jerk. Phoenix Wright. You never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? That voice. Edgy! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Long time no see, Edgeworth. Huh? Ah! M M Mr. Edgeworth! You know him from somewhere? Uh, of course. I'm his biggest fan. My sister introduced us once and... Right, her sister is the chief prosecutor after all. Well, what brings you here? I warn you, I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. No, no, I, did I, no. It was just Mr. Wright here, he, hey, don't blame me. As if the framed coat on the wall wasn't a clue. By the way, who the F frames a suit? Uh, well, yeah, okay, now that you mention it, but still, like, I I kind of didn't notice it, so, but we're just here to investigate a murder case. Murder. A body was found in this nasty bright red sports car in the parking lot. Hmm. That would be my car. What of it? What? Your car? Same person who frames a shirt. Cough. Ego Raptor. Cough. <laughs> Gotta love Ego Raptor, though. I'll say one thing. She certainly can scream. But it was. F the, the car is Edgeworth's. The body was found in Edgeworth's car. How much trouble was this dude gonna be getting himself into? We gotta talk about that, Edgy. So the body was found in your car. Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, don't you? After you went through all that trouble to help me last year, no less. No, we don't think you did it. Some Nintendo tournament from the 90s. Oh, I remember hearing him talk about that. I mean, 
it was my sister who stabbed him. Uh, wait, no. She didn't do it, I mean. Wait. So you're the chief prosecutor's little sister, then? Y yes, sir. I'm a skied. It, it, uh... It's nice to meet you again. No, that didn't sound forced at all. Ah, uh, now I remember. You've really grown. I'll admit, it was a surprise for me, too. To think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprising still, I'm being forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can... Wait, what did you say? Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor. The top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. We're going up against Edgeworth again. <coughs> We're going to be fighting against Edgeworth forever, I'm sure. You, Mr. Edgeworth? To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. I wish I had hair like Edgeworth. It's... Yeah, I mean... He kind of has that, like, Leon Kennedy thing going on. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? Yeah, you cheated. Forged evidence and all that stuff. It's hard to remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy. Forging evidence, arranging false testimony, illegal searches, you name it. But thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. But what? That's crazy. Huh. Some people need very little excuses to think ill of others. It's a fact of life and impossible to stop. It's very true. Very true. Hell yeah. I'm gonna see Edgeworth on the other side where he belongs. Our right hand enemy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I really can't wait to play the Edgeworth games. Honestly. Like I said, he has two. One was actually dubbed and brought over stateside. The other wasn't. But there's a very, very good fan dub of the whole game. Where they went as far as um, even uh, recording voiceovers for the characters that they didn't have. You know, when they do the objection or hold it and stuff like that. So, I, I can't wait to play those. Edgeworth is our bromesis. Uh, Nemibro? Nemibro. Yeah, Arch Nemibro. <laughs> Why do I feel like the Edgeworth games are going to be super emotional? I don't know, dude. All I know is that the second game was one of the best, like, games in the whole Ace Attorney, like, series. But... Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys. The bronze shield? There's got to be a story behind that one. Last guy. Prepare to try. A lot. <laughs> right? Chief Prosecutor Sky. Yes. We first worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago, I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. M mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person. But I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. Jesus, Edgy. 
Jesus. What? Mr. Edgeworth? Your knife was the murder weapon? To be specific, it was the knife I kept in the toll box in the trunk of my car. Edgeworth's knife added to the court record. Um, Edgeworth? What? Are you sure you didn't do it? Oh, he's gonna beat you with that big old green shield, dude. Come on, can you take a joke? You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. Don't, don't, don't have a effing knife then, bro. Why carry a knife with you? It was the knife he kept in a toolbox in the trunk of his car. I mean, he wasn't expecting some dude to get freaking shanked back there, you know? But why did you have a knife in your toolbox in the trunk of your car anyway? Uh, it's against my policy to discuss evidence with the defense. Especially with you. He doesn't like you very much, does he, Mr. Wright? Nah, with Edgeworth, it's never personal. It's all about winning the trial tomorrow. More framing? I... I, I guess. Say, Edgeworth, I was wondering about this. Mr. Wright? Huh? What? Are you sure you should be showing that to Mr. Edgeworth? Oh. He'll take it for sure, won't he? Hi. I wish I could be on the same side as Mr. Edgeworth. But then my sister would be found guilty. If she sighs any deeper, I'm going to start getting depressed. Okay, she just saved us. I guess we're gonna go back here. Still can't slide over. So, do I go anywhere else? Uh, back here? Nope. Alright, go law offices. Can I talk? Do I show you this? Here, see this? Uh, uh. I've noticed that defense attorneys have a tendency to want to show people things. What is this? A behavioral study of lawyers? Where do I go? Um. Do, do I show you the knife? Can you take a look at this? You. Yes. You said you wanted some hot tea, right? Uh, no, but thanks. You didn't look at me. Mm, you must have to brew the leaves a long time to get rich flavors like this. We pre-infuse uh, the leaves with steam before brewing. I knew it! So that's the secret to their aroma. Exquisite! Anything I'm smelling here is wasted time. Um, do I examine more? Like, oh, doors. This is where the cars leave, the lot. The arrow on the ground makes it look more like an entrance. What are you talking about? It's plainly an exit. Well, maybe it's both kind of a dual purpose. Aha, uh -huh, uh, that theory of relativity. What? Uh, I've got to write this down. Uh, hey, hey, Mr. Wright! Maybe you know, was Mr. Relativity German or was he British? Mr. Relativity. Are, are you sure that was his name? Um. I think we're good. Um, about this card. Lunchland vendors only accept cash, no cards. 
Especially not a card belonging to someone else. No, no, this isn't a credit card. It's an ID card. It belongs to a detective. And you're showing this to me? The lunch lady? Why? It's like showing a fine honey ham to a detective. Why do I always feel like I'm being mocked? We have to go somewhere. You! Talk to me. Look at this. Which dreamed of being a defense attorney a long time ago? What? You wanted to be a defense attorney, Mr. Edgeworth? Yet my path is laid out clearly before me. I have no time to reflect on what might have been. Oh. See, Edgeworth, I was wondering about. Okay. Maybe we examine his room. So all that is coming back to Nickelodeon. I don't know how I feel about this. Really? Like, is it reruns or... Is it something else? <clears throat> is it like a new show or... Are they going to butcher another childhood show? I've been wondering what the heck this is this. It has a big K on it. Rumbles of prosecutors. Huh? What's that? It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. K King of Prosecutors? It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. No, they're reviving it with a recent tween cast. But Keenan will host it. I have no hope in it. Well, that's sad. That, that's, that's rather sad. What? So, so that K, that's, K stands for King. Yeah, you got a problem with that? <laughs> I didn't design the thing. King of Prosecutors, kind of like Employee of the Month, only better. King of Prosecutors, trophy added to the court record. Why? So that's the King of Prosecutor's shield, huh? Well done, Edgeworth. You must be proud to be the King of Prosecutors. Congratulations, King of Prosecutors. Please, stop saying that. It still doesn't explain one thing. Why is the tip of the shield broken off? Oh, can I talk to him again? No. Uh... Wow, this jacket is even lacier than his usual ones. This must be his lucky trial jacket. Lucky jacket? Right. I've never seen him wear it. I'm sure there's a story behind why it's in a frame. Maybe I'll be naughty and take a picture. You, you're 15, naughty shouldn't be in your vocabulary. Stop it. She's getting way too excited about this. It all looks like Satan's clothes. It does. It does. It kind of does look like Satan's clothes. Mr. Edgeworth has such a comfy sofa. Sofas like this make me want to curl up and take a nap. By the way, when she says Satan, she means, uh, Von Karma. But yeah, she... It definitely does look like Von Karma's, like, coat. <coughs> I bet he pours over his case files here in between the wee hours of the morning. Then he takes off his jacket, rolls up his sleeves, and goes to sleep using his arms as pillows. She has a thing for Edgeworth. I don't believe it. She's actually daydreaming about Edgeworth working. I bet in the morning he has sofa hair and little creases on his cheek from the seams. He's so cool. Sofa hair is cool. Okay, I want to see this. I thought she was about to go into some weird sexual fantasy. Oh, no! She's 15! Family friendly! My, my, my. What an amazing bouquet. 
right for Mr. Edgeworth. No kidding. Hey, there's a card on it. Back from the dead, Wendy. Oh, do they mean old bag? Wendy, I've heard that name somewhere before. And beside, and beside it, a giant steel samurai. Wow, I want one. Uh, there's something written on the bottom of his foot. Between a rock and a hard place. Wendy. Wendy, is she Mr. Edward's fiance? Oh, no, I hope not. Ew, um, I don't think so. <laughs> so. No, she's 15. She's gonna be 16 this year, she said. That means she's still 15. <laughs> A work desk. It's quite tidy, as one might expect. What a nice desk. Easy to use and easy to unease. It's polished so well I can see my own reflection. Deb, look at how sad she got at mentioning Edward's possibility having a, a fiance. She got a thing. Yeah, she definitely has a thing for Edward. Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? Maybe I'll take that name plaque as a souvenir. Don't. I'll sue you. <laughs> Edgeworth would probably sue her as. Oh, cute! What a pretty tea set! I go more for instant tea bags myself. Amazing! The drawer below is filled with packets of tea leaves. They're all sorted by place of origin and flavor. Look at this royal blend. What an exquisitely splendid concoction. There's such a thing as taking a hobby too far. Whoa, these are all case files. They're stacked up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. Odd. I thought Edward wasn't good with heights. He must have someone get them from him. For him. Ah! <laughs> Strange, why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? He must study these case reports so closely. He's so cool. You wouldn't say that if you saw him sweating bullets up on that ladder. So you two are just going through his office. Well, Edgeworth awkwardly sits there at his de Pretty much. I mean, I don't know what else to do from here, so I'm gonna investigate and look at everything. Edgeworth knows how to how this works. <clears throat> hey, a chessboard! I'm not too up on my chest, but it looks like Blue's in a bit of a tight spot. The Red Knight have the Red Knights have surrounded the Blue Pawn. Those horses are mounted knights. Their swords have really sharp edges. And check out that poor pawn. His head is kind of spiky. It kind of reminds me of you. Mr. Edwards must be an avid chess player. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? <clears throat> edges surrounding a pawn with spiky hair. No, it's nothing. I mean, there's nothing else to do. Can I examine the floor? Whoa. What a view. It must be nice to have an office on the 12th floor. I guess you would feel important. Incidentally, were you to jump out this window, the time until impact with the ground would be... Got it. Approximately 3.23 seconds. That's handy to know. And there's nothing else. Okay, so what the hell do I do? I can't... Oh. So basically, this says you were the best of the best last year, huh? You could take you could take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? 
I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. Huh? Why is that? I had to go to the police department to receive that broken shield. The police department? Yes, we're right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, haven't you? Where Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. Um, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about his reward, for better or for worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday. Okay. Day of the crime. Did you tell me more about yesterday? The day of the murder. Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort out and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. Wiping your hands of old cases, in other words. Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There's an annual review and awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got the shield. I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 5.12. That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edwards pride ourselves in our precision, Mr. Wright. No, I place little faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. Edwards' parking stub added to the court record. This is the parking stub from the underground lot. The murder took place around 5.15. So the murder happened right after you got back. How did she open up the trunk of your car? What, right? I'd appreciate it if you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Um... Oh, who in the ever-living hell? Um, excuse me? <clears throat> but is Mr. Edgeworth here? Uh, anywhere on the premises. It's pretty much what his voice is going to sound like, but I'm never doing it again. <laughs> I'm Edgeworth. What is it? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Report. What did you find? New evidence in this case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. Uh, Sky, sir? No, sir. No name of that kind, sir. Not in this report, sir. Motherfucker said, sir, one more goddamn time. I think I just heard Edward's lid blow. Mr. Edwards' lid isn't on very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the department, police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Sir, but, but sir... I'm just following orders, sir. They told me to bring this to you. I wasn't aware of the particulars of your... Give me your name. Uh, yes, D yes, sir. M M Meekins, sir. Officer Meekins. Right, Officer Meekins. Take your report and leave. And good luck with that raise next month. Uh, but, but, sir, I, I didn't know. Poor guy looks like he was absent on the day they gave out brains and good luck. He is su he has such a weird character design compared to everybody else. Why? It's almost like they crossed over with some other type of anime. Uh, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, sir. Ah, he caught me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. But let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. 
The victim was a detective from the same department as the patrolman just now. Go down to the police department and you can ask more there. Uh, uh, thanks. You seem to have finally calmed down at least. Thank you, Edgy. Ew. A good picture, right? Saluting after Edgeworth caught him up. Yeah, right? He probably did. February 22nd, police department entrance. What the fuck is that? Phew, we're finally here. Why would they put the police department so far away from the prosecutor's office? Beats me. That took almost 30 minutes by taxi and traffic wasn't even that bad. The police department, huh? I've only ever been to criminal affairs next door. Hmm. Hold on. What's that? Uh, um. I don't know, but it's cute and horrifying at the same damn time. And why has it got a blood-soaked bat? Disturbing. Why does it undulate like that? What? I know this. This is the Blue Badger. They're trying to make him the police mascot. Why? Wow, Mr. Wright, you sure know a lot about the police. Still, he does seem familiar somehow. Forget the Blue Badger. Who's the, that next to him? Someone appears to be dancing with the Blue Badger. Uh-oh, he noticed me. He sure is running over here fast! Yes! Gumshu! He's not dead! He's not dead! Thank god! Hey, 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 pal! What were you doing here? That's my line, Detective Gumshu. Specifically, why were you dancing over there? What? Um, well... Well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get information. Hey! I'll have you know I'm a very busy man, pal. <laughs> Fucking gumshoot's awesome. Let's do this first. I'm gonna find out who the hell they are. Look, that patrolman is saluting the other guy. He must be a detective. And then I said, hey, you do that, your soup will get cold, buddy. Th that's hilarious, sir. I laughed so hard I cried. I guess he wasn't saluting, he was wiping tears from his eyes. They make a good pair. Cool! Uh, the detective in there look pretty busy. Just imagine right now, behind those doors, a police drama in action! Somehow the thought fails to excite me. Uh... I was wondering about that. What? The dancing blue badger? It's my masterpiece. You made this detective gumshoe? The chief threw it together some designs and I just did my thing, pal. N nice work. It's battery powered, so it can go anywhere. There's no switch, so it just dances and dances until the batteries die. Poor Blue Badger. Faded to dance until he drops. Blue Badger panel added to the court record. Why? <sighs> okay. Uh, police cars. Mr. Wright, do you know why patrol cars are painted black and white? No idea. Why? Well, I think they're designed after a panda. I can almost 100% tell you they're not. A panda? Not that I have scientific proof, it's just a theory. Um, do you mind me asking how you came up with that theory? It was when I was in, on a school trip. I saw a patrol car and it came to me. We had just been at the zoo, see? A GAME THEORY! <laughs> oh. oh, do you think he's gonna cheat on his wife at some point? 
He's gonna pull a, a pro Jared move. What about zebras? Or did they not have those at your zoo? Okay. Uh, bulletin board. The usual wanted posters are hanging up on the bulletin board here. Do you know this face? If you do, dial 911. Isn't it because even colorblind people can see them? I have no clue why they're painted black and white. You would have to Google that, baby. You know, Mr. Wright, I've always thought it was kind of funny. I've never seen anyone who looked like the people on those posters. They hardly even look human. She has a point. Okay. We'll talk to Detective Gumshill. I'll give you one word of advice, pal. You'd better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. Uh, why not? Huh? Well, it's just that the priest, the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime. She says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office and she killed him. But what if she's not telling the truth? Yes, well, no, come on, pal. There's plenty of evidence against her. But... What if the evidence was faked? Hey pal, can I speak to you for a second? Huh? Me? Why is this little bitch so peeved? I mean, little girl so peeved at me. She's a relative of the suspect. She's Lana Sky's sister. Whoa, the chief prosecutor's little sister. Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically! Yes, sir. Oh, by the way, you might want to keep your voices down. You don't want to be overheard using words like faked. Um, why are you giving him like the end type voice? I don't know, it just fits. Uh, it's just, it's a sensitive issue with us these days. <laughs> so what are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? Me? I work here, you little bit. I mean, nothing really. They kicked me out of criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe, what did you do this time? What do you mean, this time? And what happened? <laughs> Butter toast. Butter toast. <laughs> and then what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true. We've never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being let into criminal affairs now. The lowest ranking guy in there is our chief of detectives. They're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. None of you? I know this is an important trial, but isn't that a little odd? I always imagine Gumshoe's voice sounded more like Patrick or Burton. I mean, he already voices Joe Swanson. I can't do his voice at all, dude. I wish I could, or I would have given that to him. So anyway, I thought I'd spend the day getting the badger dance down pad. Um, isn't there anything else you could be doing? The chief of police himself is directing this investigation, pal. An officer marshal was assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer marshal? Now that I think about it, Emma did seem to know that Marshall guy. The patrolman in charge of the crime scene. It's unheard of, pal. Um... I guess we can try all this stuff. I'm Detective Gumshoe. What can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey, pal, this is a detective's ID card. You can't just keep that. You have to turn it into the police. It's 
People like you that get me into the so much trouble all the time. Meaning Detective Gumshoe must drop his card a lot. No, hey, Peter. <laughs> I, I can't do it. Hey, Peter. No. no. I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even trying. Huh. Let's see. Bruce Goodman. Goodman? Sounds familiar. Nah, my mistake. But did he, did he work? Whoa, now I remember. Bruce Goodman. He's the victim. That's what I thought. Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? Um, sure. Bruce Goodman. So this ID card belonged to- This ID card belonged to the vi- It's gonna stick! Holy shit! He was a detective like myself. Detective Bruce Goodman. Hmm. Don't you think it's strange? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? See, why are you watching your wife? I like to think she's an intruder in my house as she gets undressed. Get naked, strange whore! <laughs> well, Detective Goodman? Should have been at the police department yesterday. There was an evidence transfer of where Casey handled two years ago. Evidence transfer? Oh. Mr. Edgeworth mentioned that too. But Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but... Word is the chief prosecutor's guy called him out there to the parking lot. And Juan is confessing as much. Ah. What else can we say? I think the murder guy. Found in Mr. Edward's car. Stabbed with Mr. Edward's knife, huh? What would drive Chief Prosecutor Sky to do such a thing? Well, wait, I didn't mean... I mean, sure, of course, someone else really did it. Someone who must have, um... Someone who must have a grudge against Mr. Edward. The car knife do seem a little too well organized to be a coincidence. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. Well, what could have happened? We have to find out a little more about what's going on with Edgeworth. Um... This thing? As a detective, I have to keep my mouth shut on that one. I know better than to go blabbing on about things I don't know about. You were the one who said you made it! Hey, that's it. That's the King of Prosecutors award that Mr. Edward got yesterday. Were you at the award ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Of course, pal. I got an award for diligence myself. Ah, congratulations. Congratulations! Ugh. I was wondering, why is the award a shield? And why is it broken? Oh, there's a reason. Um... I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently he's forgotten. But, I was proud of Mr. Edgeworth for winning that award. Even with all the naysayers in the prosecutor's office. The naysayers must be because of the rumors. From Edgeworth's car stabbed with a set of guy. Yeah, wait, yeah, 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 we've seen this. Maybe we can talk to him again now. Ah, okay, cool. He's in a tough spot again. Again? Oh, yep. Uh, we all remember that one. That was such a good case. Well, it all started with the murder of that defense attorney, Hammond. But Mr. Edgeworth was found innocent. Listen, pal. There have always been rumors about Mr. Edgeworth. Forging evidence, making deals with witnesses. 
nothing outright, but there's there were always whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, no one's whispering. They're practically shouting. But but there's no evidence against him. Well, Mr. Edgeworth has always had unusual strong ties to the department higher-ups. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. I had no idea he was under the gun. Anyway, this latest case has started a new rumor. People say the only reason he took this case is because he's aiming for the chief prosecutor position in himself. What? What? But I know the truth, pal. Nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Mr. Edgeworth is biting the bullet on this one. He's doing this all for us. And that's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you. Why aren't you handling the case, Detective Gumshoe? We met the guy who is... What was his name? The guy in the parking lot. I'd be Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the Chief of Police. Officer Marshall? Is he some kind of Wild West Sheriff or something? No, Jake Marshall's just a regular officer. From West LA. For a moment there, for a moment there, I wasn't sure. Look, pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show them this, and they'll let you examine the crime and scene. Maybe. Oh, badass, Gumshoe! Detective Gumshoe's letter of introduction added to the court case. I'll be surprised if this gets us anywhere. Just act like you're supposed to be there, and nobody will look at you twice, pal. Oh, badass. Thank you, Gumshoe. Underground park lot. Looks like the investigation is still going. I have to be getting back to the shop. Sorry. Looks like I'll be stuck in this pit till the sun sleeps. I'll see you in my dreams then tonight, baby. Oh... Still here? Uh, he hello? But why the surprise looks? Didn't I mention? I've got a boyfriend in criminal affairs, too. SLUT! What happened to the security guard? Hey, uh, what's wrong, Bambina? Oh, looking like a doggy that's lost its herd. Jake Marshall. Strange guy to put in charge of a crime scene. Oh, oh we're done with this. Go away, guy. Would you mind reading this for me? What's this? I warn you, the fan letters to me go right into the spittoon. It's a letter of introduction from Detective Gumshoe. May we investigate? Gumshoe? Ah, that old cow dog. Hmm. He holding a birthday party or something? Huh? Look, where it should say letter of introduction, it says invitation. Uh, I think he just miswrote it. Wait, why am I getting all defensive here? No worries. This proves it's from Detective Gumshoe. I'm better than a blood test. Guess I'd, be I'd better let you win then. But thank you, Officer Marshall. Oh, that's right. He's a patrolman, not a detective. Which reminds me. Hey, wait a sec. Isn't a crime scene supposed to be handled by a detective or higher? Well, folks. The clues are calling. Welcome to our gold strike. Be like the settling. Strike out for lands unknown. Manifest destiny? Let us, let's have a hoot, nanny. Note to self, police investigators are... Investigations are like settling land. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? 
I say I won't be needing this anymore. Detective Gunship. I do not like Mar I don't like Marshall either. Uh, uh, he's, he, he's, he's like a cop who wants to be a cosplayer, but is kind of bad at it. Detective Gunship's letter. Yeah, crumpled. Um, slide. And examine. This rope. Is it? Yep. They let it in. They let it in the outline of the victim's body. So wait. The victim must have died when the killer closed the trunk on him. You have got to be the only person I know that would come to that conclusion. Ugh. This appears to be the car where the body was found. It looks like the lock on the trunk is busted. So someone broke into his car. The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. Okay. Quite a luxury car. It just screams, I have money to burn. Yeah, prosecutors get the big bucks. Okay. A block. A block. And this area is reserved for prosecutors. Defense attorneys are regulated to block B block. I dream of the day when I will be able to park my car here. I'll go over to B block to buy my hamburgers from you, Mr. Wright. Why would I be selling hamburgers? I'm not planning on giving up my job that soon. looks like a cell phone. Scientific analysts would suggest this belongs to the victim. I can't think of anyone else it could belong to. What's so scientific about that? Should we check it? Uh, yeah. Right. Let's check it out. And it's doing it by itself again. I mean, it's a flip phone. Phone's still on the redial screen. Redial. Um, Mr. Wright? Most phones keep a record of all the calls you've made and received. You just press the blue button to display the last number you called. Convenient, isn't it? I'm surprised you didn't know about it. Sorry to disappoint you, but even I know what things like redial. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's just, you never know with people from your generation. Whatever, let's check this phone out. Uh, is it just a big ass blue? Okay. Man, what a boring strap. What's wrong with it? Everyone has different taste, you know. Here, check out mine. It's a pink princess strap. These are hard to come by, you know. Uh, I see the series is as popular as ever with the kids. <coughs> now to see who the owner of this phone called last. Note to self, a defense attorney doesn't think first. He just pushes the button. Beep. Hey, that song, I know that. Hey, what's going on over here? Uh, oh, s sorry. I see you, partner. You pressed redial on that there phone, didn't you? Ah, uh, well, yeah. Whose phone is this anyway? It was on the ground over there. Whose is it? That belongs to Chief Prosecutor Scott. It's my sister? You didn't know your sister's phone. 
She apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody right after the crime. Look, the last call was made right when the murder occurred. Looks like she was fixing to call someone. Except, she only spoke for a few seconds according to this. Who did she call? No idea. Sorry, partner. Now I got a question for you, partner. I heard a phone ring just now. One of those new fangled ring tones. Oh, that... Oh, uh, I'm sorry. That was my phone. Wait, y'all. He hit retire on his phone, right? Was she trying to call him? What? Your phone? Yeah, uh, it's kind of strange, but... Someone called me right as we picked up the other phone. A wrong number. I... I hope y'all not Ryan. They'll shoot you for that in Texas, partner. Oh, that's not good. That's not good! Oh, I've incited the wrath of the Lone Star Patrolman. Cell phone added to the court record. I don't think there's any more... Well, this. E block is through there. And that's where our visitors find. I can see the lunch land over car over there, far in the distance. Hey, you're right. I like the cute design on the door. I can see a cartoon cow munching down on a juicy looking steak. Doesn't that strike you as a little creepy? Just don't think too deeply about it and you'll be fine. I, I mean, it, the cows are cannibal? So, okay. Now what do we do? There's, there's no... Oh, okay. Officer Marshall, could you tell us more about the victim? The good men always die young. Remember that, partner? Um, could you be a little more specific? Bruce Goodman. He was a detective, right? Well, well, are you a feisty doggy there now? Detective Goodman was stabbed here at 5.15. The smiling Madonna told me the tale. I think he means witness Miss Angled Star. Blood stabbed to the chest a fine piece of work. This here is the autopsy report. Death due to loss of blood, one knife wound, died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. 5.30. Was my sister involved with the victim in any way? Funny you should be mentioning that, babina. Chief Prosecutor Sky and Detective Goodman had nothing in common at all. Nothing in common? They apparently worked together on a case a few years back. So there's no motive. Goodman wasn't a particularly gifted detective. That's one reason why he didn't do much work with the prosecutor. But my sister called the victim here on the day of the murder, right? Here to this parking lot. So it seems. Like calling an unarmed man to a shootout at high noon. High noon! <laughs> the memes are real! Okay. Um, I don't mean any offense, but... Officer Marshall, you're a patrolman, right? Not a detective? Y'all calling me out? Or they shoot you for that in Texas. Huh? I was one of them fancy shoe detectives till two years ago, to tell you the truth. Oh, really? Now he told me. But you're a patrolman now, so how can you be in charge of a crime scene? And nothing gets by you, does it, Bambina? So why are you in charge? No nah, reason. We're just showed on hands right now. I'm keeping an eye out in the meantime. It's odd though. Detective Gumshoe was saying he had nothing to do. Nothing important at least. He's nothing but a sad old cow dog that can't find his tail. Maybe it's because he runs with that Edgeworth, eh? Edgeworth? 
Well, that cow dog's been kicked out of his cattle run by order of Chief Police. But just he don't realize it yet. Detective Gumshoe kicked out of the investigation. Oh, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the uh, stream. Hopefully, uh, you guys find this a little interesting because we all do so far. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Feel free to chat and chat and all that nifty jazz. But anyway, so there's no connection between Detective Gumshoe and his and my sister? That's correct, but that was a gold mine of evidence against her. And the prosecutor tomorrow is none other than Edgeworth himself. I'm afraid your sister's fate is decided, Bambina. My condolences. Officer Marshall? Yeah, Bambina? How can you say that? If you and my sister, you were... There's something between this cop and her sister that I don't know about? I apologize, Bambina. Something must have gotten to me. Maybe it's the dry wind that's a blowing through the prosecutor's office. Dry wind or ill will. Someone's up to something here, but who? Suspicions about Mr. Edgeworth have been flying around for nearly two years now. Oh, damn it, Marshall. Quit speaking spaghetti westerns. <laughs> right? Forged evidence and forged evidence and arranging testimonies you mean. He was unbeatable because he did whatever it took to win. Unbeatable, that is, until he met you. But rumors are just rumors, aren't they? These are prosecutors we're talking about. Evidence is everything to them. If you if you follow the rumors about Edgeware to their source, you find one person. But they're off the limits. Untouchable, you might say. One person. Who? I hate to say this, but it's your sister, Bambina, Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky. So Jay, you think oh no, Jared will attempt to apologize or just try to act like nothing's wrong. Dude, he has not said a damn thing. At all. I'm kinda waiting for it, honestly, to see how pathetic it sounds. What? My sister? Edgeworth couldn't rustle all those cattle by himself. Some people, some, some people load their guns with bullets. Some people load them with deals. What you're trying, what you're saying, Edgeworth was making deals to win trials? Where, where there's a gunshot, there's bound to be bullets. That's what the old timers say. There's a big old secret hidden around there somewhere. Everyone knows it. Is that why Detective Gumshoe was taken off the case? Did they target him because he was close to Edgeworth? Probably because his lawyers told him to stay hushed. Hilarious. Uh, I still adore what Justin Lang said to John Chan. We demand you to talk about your old friend's penis. Yeah, then he had the chick of the girl like back it off like this and whatnot. <laughs> huh, I guess we're going to see, uh... Let's see him again, huh? Uh, maybe not. Uh... Yeah... Okay. To the wrong place. Uh, let's try the detention center. Nothing. The grab parking lot. My prosecutor's office. Nothing. Maybe we gotta present some stuff to him. My sister's cell phone. The last time it was used was 518. Right after Goodman was killed. 
Maybe she was canceling her date for the night. I didn't want to make that call. Uh. Alright, compadre. A count to three. Huh? Y'all gotta do that if y'all going to draw evidence on someone. That's what we do in Texas. Bitch, you from L.A. Stop it. I'm never to visit Texas. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be... Uh, uh I was anyway. Now, Zedra 1712 is the daytime. Yeah. Murder took place three minutes after Edward parked his car. If only he was held up at a couple extra red lights, he wouldn't have been caught up in this whole affair. Yep. Jesus Christ. Well, 5 12 p.m. The prosecutor's bright red steed came in at a trot real slow like. Trot? My Madonna tells me the crime occurred three minutes later. So it seems the chief prosecutor was lying in wait. Maybe waiting for her prince to ride in on his bright red horse. So what you mean is... The killer intended to use Edward's car all along. Oh. Okay. Oh! Shit. Don't beat this. Ah, a toy shield suits the boy well. What exactly could you shield with that? A toy knight, maybe. Officer Marshall, don't you have anything good to say about Mr. Edgeworth? You don't like him, right? We get the point. You know, when I was a detective, I got one of these. Hmm, let me guess. Did it have a K for King of Detectives on it? Hey, uh, they could use the same shield over and over. Note to self, the prosecutor's office and criminal affairs are surprisingly cheap. Damn it, Marshal. Everything is just horses and cattle with you. That thing's broken, isn't it? The shield is broken, yeah. And the top piece of the shield is broken. Y'all know it. They've gotten cheaper with every person, yeah, I tell you. Okay. And we don't show this to him, right? What's that? Some sort of police passport? This is Detective Goodman's ID card, strangely enough. We found it a good distance away from the cream crime scene. Good distance is that right? Is that rabble? If you want distance, get yourself to Texas. You're from LA, you piece of shit. Texas. This is a tiny little crime scene in a tiny little town with tiny little evidence. What difference does a few yards make, friend? Not so. If you encounter suspicious evidence, think of Texas. There's no better way to study than to hang out with a pro. I don't think he's much of a pro. <sighs> uh, I thought it would say something. Hey, check it out. There's a metal plate here. Looks like the names of all the previous recipients are engraved on it. Wow, one guy's listed a bunch of times. Von Karma. I guess he must be a foreigner. Uh, yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> well, whatever. He's from. Wherever he's from, he must have been an amazing prosecutor. I'd like to meet this, Mr. Von Karma. So, no, you don't. No, you don't. You don't want to meet Satan. I feel like this dude had a thing for her, and she was more into edgy. Maybe. I mean, uh, we all know her little sister is really into edgy. 
Marshall's trying to be the suave cowboy that gets every lady. No. No. He's stupid. Not even, not, not even for that, no. Huh. Oh, can't examine that. Oh. Oh, this must be the victim's blood, right? Either that or Edgeworth shot himself peeling an apple. What's Edgeworth doing with a knife like this anyway? Hey, maybe he spends his weekends roughing it in the wild. Edgeworth? In the wild? I think my fruit peeling theory is more likely. Are you kidding? I always pictured him as an outdoors, but no, he's not. Oh, there's a scary thought. Okay. Nothing else. Yep, Marshall, dumber than a rancher without horses or cattle. I guess so. Ooh, can I examine this? That's so cool. So this is what the back of the badge looks like. And I always thought it had a safety pin. Each badge has a number carved into it. That way you can tell which attorney it belongs to. You mean you couldn't lend your badge to anyone? No, it'd be found out right away. Well, that's no fun. So, that pic of Jared in the Sailor Moon-like outfit was on his public Instagram. I mean, he's a dick and a pervert, but he had guts publicly posted. He's weird, man. Jared is weird. Jared's a weird dude. Um, do we move now? Let's go check in. Nothing. Underground. Let's check the detention center. Nothing. All right, in office. Oh, can I talk to you? No. Police department. I'm show. Yo. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't do this. I mean, dude. I'm gonna be 100% honest. If I was skinny enough. I'd be cross-dressing. <clears throat> what an effing cheater solicitate nudes to or from minors. But, uh, I mean, Indy. More power to you. I mean... I'm trying to find out what I need to do here. I mean... I, I, I don't know, Indy. Oh, is there anything I missed? I'm kind of at a loss here. Everything's checked. Oh! Oh! What's this? Looks like a note of some sort. Look, something's written on it. 6-75-12-2 You're right, let's see. 6-7-S-12-2 Present phone to sister. Alright, we'll do that when we go back over there. I think that's okay. Ah! There's a name printed on the paper above that. Goodman. Maybe it fell out of his pocket when he was killed. Well, so... What does it mean, Mr. Wright? How am I supposed to know? Note to self. For deductive reasoning, go to Edgeworth, not Wright. What a bitch. I'm sure Edgeworth wouldn't know what this means either. Goodman's note added to the court record. I don't see why we gotta follow the news on people like Jared. They're people, just like us. So what if they cheat and shit? Same shit happens every day. It makes no impact on our lives. Um, okay, in my opinion, with people like Jared, especially YouTubers, like YouTubers like him, 
They're influencers. Okay? They have a huge fan base that they can easily, like, talk to personally, which Jared did with fan meetups or even comments on his Twitter or YouTube or anything like that. And as an influencer, he had some kind of pull. And he had that, like, fame status. You know, like, he was famous and whatnot. And he used that to talk these little girls into sending him nudes and everything like that. That doesn't happen to a normal person every day. And him using that fame to go ahead and do this is kind of disgusting. And, I mean, that's why we have to follow that shit on him. So, well, how are we doing, Mr. Wright? I guess we've got some clues. We have an autopsy report, a note from the victim, and a cell phone. So, you think we'll be okay? Well, the only thing still bothering me is that Lana is confessing to the crime. She says she did it. Okay, but now that he's seen as scum, people are still looking into him. Following every move he makes. Why? Because drama. His people are so fucking bored. Yeah, pretty much, I guess. No problem. I can guarantee that she's not the criminal. Oh, by the way, Emma. Yes. I know that song your phone plays when it rings. What? It's the Steel Samurai theme song, isn't it? A popular TV show for kids. It was her phone? The phone that rang earlier wasn't mine. It was yours. At 518, just after the murder took place, your sister called you, didn't she, Emma? I... I'm sorry. Can you tell me what you talked about? I... She hung up right away. Let's see. Cell phone updated in the court record. Oh, a detective is murdered and the suspect is the top prosecutor in the district. I've got a bad feeling about this. Like, maybe I still don't know everything that went on here. Oh, to be continued! Finally! After two hours and 15 minutes, that was actually really long for an investigation day. But we are going to save here, and we're going to actually call the stream quits. Because that, that took a damn while. And we're almost at 24 hours, people. <laughs> but, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, let's go through chat one last time. I don't see the difference. He's still getting attention he used. Everyone who on everyone who on the news gets attention. Not really. He's lost over 300,000 subscribers. This is why I just watch the video and not follow their lives. Everyone's different. I already followed him. Unfollowed him. Now I kind of just follow him because I generally want to see if he'll try to apologize. He's lost over 300,000 subs. But what are you doing still talking about it? Still looking shit up. Still reading about it. It gives him the attention. I mean, I was done talking about him until you brought up why people follow his stuff. Dude, I can't wait to see how you handle this case. Uh, I don't... I'm trying to handle this case. What the hell's going on in chat? <laughs> Yo, people are different, man. They're going to follow who they want to follow and get into whatever kind of dirt they want to get into on these people. It's the way we are. I mean, you can't sit there and tell me that you haven't done stuff like that yourself. It's because we pretty much all have. But as far as the Phoenix Wright case, I'm just at a loss with the whole damn thing. I don't know how I'm going to try to prove someone who admitted to murder guilty. But anyway, 
I'm going to leave this one here and call it quits. Thank you all for watching and getting into some really weird chats tonight. And anybody else who may have showed up and was lurking in the background. But, uh, yeah, this was fun, guys. And Andy's uh, going to be streaming again tomorrow when I take over Wednesday and Thursday. So uh, I'll see you guys then. Later, everybody. Bye-bye.